You know, we played with, um, with great energy and intensity in the fourth quarter. Um, Tobias and Pope made shots. Pope made some huge ones. Um, Ish was great, and they missed some good looks. I mean, that always happens. I mean, you defend better, but, but they had some good looks that they just didn't knock down. So those, I thought, were the keys. But, but we, had a, we had a real spirit and energy about us. Um, in the fourth quarter and in overtime. So, you know, to give up 85 points through three quarters and then finally uh, start to really defend, I thought it was, uh, it was really good. So, hinted before the game there could be some weird matchups and lineups. To, to yeah. Them, what the job lawyer, I guess, did at the five, especially. In the yeah, I, I mean, look, it, it's just a really tough matchup. Um, you know, so we started the second half, and, and I thought the matchups were better. You know, it's what Tim, I got to take the blame in the first half because Tim had the game plan, and Tim's suggestion was right from the beginning to put Andre on Kid Gilchrist so he wasn't having to get back to, and of course I didn't do it because I'm a genius. And um, so I should have stuck with Tim's game plan. So we started the second half that way. But in the second half, it was a different problem. It wasn't a matchup problem. It's just we came out of the locker room with, with no energy whatsoever as a group. And so then we changed, and I just didn't want to go back to that matchup, you know. And we, uh, I thought Aaron gave us some good minutes in there, but I didn't even have him play Kaminsky. I had him play Toby. And then, um, you know, um, John was able to do a good job. And, and look, they did a great job. That's a banged up team. They don't have either center. Um, you know, so uh, they did a great job to be up by 15 and then I think sort of uh, ran out of gas. Catanius, he got that hot streak and obviously it was pretty pretty impressive what he did there. But he had to also some, maybe some quick shots in there. So do you kind of have to live with that stuff uh, when, he go on, when he had to go on like that? You know, I, for, as, for as hard as I am to please in a lot of areas, um, I don't really get on guys a whole lot about shots. You know, I've had a lot of fans email me, rip me apart, you know, quick shots, things like that. I get it, you know. I mean, hell, I grew up around the game. I, I mean, my dad probably, uh, you know, gets pissed off watching the game on TV, you know, coaching for 40 years, some of the shots that we take. But, you know, like, for a guy like Pope to go on a streak like that, he's got to be a, you know, he's got to be a bit of a gunslinger and not be, not be worried about what's going on. I mean, I'll say something if it gets really, really bad. The only one I said something about is we had a two-on-one fast break. I mean, we had a layup and he stopped and shot it. Okay, so, but I didn't say that. I didn't yell at him just at the timeout. But, but look, he's not going to get on those kind of streaks if you're if you're going to discourage him from, uh, from shooting the ball. So, um, yeah, I was. Uh, I was happy with what he did. Obviously, he got on a great roll there when we needed it. And just sort of, you know, it happens a lot. And if the last game here, right, I mean, against them, they scored 44 in the fourth and had a shot to beat us at the buzzer when we had been way ahead, you know. And when it gets rolling for a team, the energy gets rolling and everything else. And there's, you know, that's what happened to us tonight. It happened to them the last time. So, um, you know, it's an incredible win. At what point did you decide you were going to let Ish and, and those bench guys, guys you know? Oh, look, they just played a lot better. I mean, you know, you just you guys just got to look at the way they were playing. We've done it a lot lately. I mean, you know, um, we, we got to figure it out. Um, we do because we need, you know, we need to get Reggie going. With Andre, it was more of a matchup thing, I think. You know, he still had 13 rebounds in 25 minutes and everything else. It's just a, a tough matchup. Um, but... Uh, you know, we got to get Reggie going, you know, and we got to be able to play with the same energy and spirit that, that we do with Ish in the game. You know, I talk to other teams, uh, I guess other teams, player personnel, and they talk about KCP, and he has a very high value around the league. People like him and really appreciate what he does. I guess to speak to what kind of interest was him in, in the trade deadline? Um, you know what? I mean, it was tempered by, you know, it was tempered by the fact, and we've been there, you know, people do like him, but, but, you know, I think people were hesitant. You know, nobody came at us. Look, we weren't going to trade him anyway. Um, but, but nobody came at us with anything that made us think. And I think part of the reason is, you know, 
he's going to be a restricted free agent, and you don't know. You know, we have a pretty good idea where the money's going to go to hang on to him. So, um, you know, we didn't really, we didn't have anything that even caused us to have a discussion. Jeff mentioned three things to me, and, and you know, we didn't even talk about it. it. was, you know, he gave me three things that obviously we wouldn't consider. So there was nothing that even made us pause. Well, it really wasn't much with anybody that made us pause and discuss, to be quite honest. Talk about okay. the activity on the defensive end by the bench, guys. Yeah, well, that, I thought got it going. And, um, you know, I thought the start of the fourth quarter, you know, got it going. Stanley, Bullock, Baines, Tobias, Ish, those guys, I thought, picked up our energy and uh, spirit. And then when we went back to those other guys, they had gotten a little bit of rest. They continued to defend and we got rolling offensively. But, um, you know, I just want to see us play hard more consistently. And, and we're having trouble, quite honestly, um, at least on a consistent basis with that, uh, with that first group. We're just having trouble finding that kind of energy on a consistent basis. And we've got we've to get that turned around, or we've got to try to figure a way to juggle things. Um, Whatever it is. One quick thing about Ish, everybody looked at the 16 assists, but he really got into Kimba really good. Uh, I mean, look, Kimba had 34, and he was 11 for 19, 9 for 9 at the line. Yeah, I, I mean, look, Kimba was tremendous, and he's really carrying that team. I, look, I, I thought our guys played hard on him, but to act like we did anything to limit him, I think, would be way off base. I mean, really, I mean, he just, he was, and, and I appreciated the effort our guys gave, but. I mean, he's a hell of a player and a tough guy to guard. And we tried a little bit of everything on him, and um, not much of it worked. Um, he's just a great, great player. You look at some of the, uh, how in the last month or so, the bench has been doing a lot of heavy lifting. Does it make you want to consider any lineup changes, or do you look at the 7 3 record and say it ain't broken? Yeah, you know what? That's, that's the hard question right there, right? So. I'm not happy with the way the starters are playing as a unit. And so you do something to change that up, and now you change your bench, which has been playing great. You know, it's a little bit of a gamble because you run the risk of neither unit being what you want. So I don't know what the answer is. We've got a couple more days to sort it out. Um, but, but that is the dilemma is, you know, those guys have come in, and we have one seven out of ten. Um, you know, do you want to mess with it? I don't know the answer to that right now. The last possession of regulation, you made Kemba give up the ball, both on him, I guess. What was sort of the, the defensive set there? I got they still got a good look at it, but it was <laughs> anything specific in the timeout to <laughs> no. get out of his hands? No, we were just, uh, you know, we just played good enough defense. No, we didn't. Uh, there's only so many things you can do, you know, and. Uh, we played pretty good defense on him on that one, but uh, but look, they had looks too. You know, we were we were really going hard on him. He was able to throw it back to Kaminsky a couple times. The shots that he made early, he didn't make late. You know, but but if you look, I mean, he played 39 minutes because they got those other centers out. He ran out of gas a little bit, you know. So that so that's what happened too. I mean, look, Steve's a good friend of mine, and if you look at what they've been through injury-wise and stuff. He's doing an unbelievable job with that team, and this is a really, really tough loss for him. And, and that's the only thing that sort of tempers it for me. I'm really happy for our team, but he's really been struggling. And they played great tonight. And um, you know, they got to go out on the road now for five more, and those two centers are hurt. And you know, it, it's a it's a difficult road, and he'll he'll never make any excuses or do anything. So it's left to guys like me to make them for him, but. They're just short of people, and they ran out of gas. They outplayed us badly for 36 minutes and ran out of gas. Stan Van Gundy.